Hey, what's up everybody? It's Logan with Mixed Up. Today we are talking about the Jerome Baker Baker Bots. For anyone who doesn't know who Jerome Baker is, it's actually an alias used by Jason Harris. Uh, Jason Harris is the man. He was actually taught by Bob Snodgrass in the early 90s. Uh, in 1995, he went on to start Jerome Baker Designs, where he then went on to be one of the largest water pipe manufacturing operations in existence up until about 1995 when they went through Operation Pipe Dreams, which pretty much ended Jerome Baker Designs up until recently. Uh, he's made an extraordinary comeback, and now he is back with a vengeance. And here we are to talk about his new 2015 Baker Bots line. So let's get into the Baker Bots. The Baker Bots line is actually five rigs, four of them robots, and then the Honeypot right here. It's actually not a robot, but it has the same kind of decals and artwork and box that the other one does, so it is in the line. It's got a little bear on it, honeycomb perk in there. And this would be a BakerBot robot. Needs his oil there. So each one has a name and a common theme that kind of runs through the decals on the rig and the artwork on the boxes. Um, each one's got a 10 millimeter direct inject joint and each one comes with a special All-American Quartz JBD Domeless Quartz Nail. Um, so they do kind of look like little toys and what's a toy without a toy box? One of the coolest parts of the line are the, the boxes they come with. You got the art on the front all over that kind of represent the common theme of the piece. And then when you open up the box, you've got a laser cut foam fitting for your piece, making, uh, taking on the go super easy, storing it super easy. Uh, and it's just fun, fun toys. But before we start talking about them, they do come with a warning. So be warned guys, what you're holding in your hand is a 100% out of this world product from a top secret collaboration between artists and mad scientists. From Jerome Baker Designs and Stoner Days, these JBD Baker Bots are each handmade and hold within them the power to enlighten the body, mind, and stoner spirit. A true work of functioning interstellar art However, in what we call unique cases, it has even been reported these Baker Bots possess a sense of mind and body control in which the consumer can be sent into a journey of euphoric trance used with caution and care. So the first bot we are gonna talk about is the mind control bot. It's got a little inline perk at the bottom. It's got uh, decals all over it. It's got a little oil gauge there the mind control name on it as well and a battery indicator it's got some eyes and the arms are perfect for holding a dabber you can just throw your dabber right in there and have your little buddy hold it while you're busy heating a nail and such uh, the artwork on the box is really cool on this one the theme is mind control so you have three robots emitting a mind control beam telling your whole family to obey the oil. You've got uh, father obeys, junior obeys, granny obeys. Everybody o obeys the oil, so you probably should too. So the next bot we are going to talk about is the Robots Love Dabs bot. You can see the name right there on the decal. Also looks like the happiest bot in the whole line. Got a big smile, frothing at the mouth with oil. Hearts all over him. Features a honeycomb perk on the inside. And it's the only rig in the line that features a 10 mil joint at a 45 degree angle, which works really well with the honeycomb. Uh, and then if we look at the box, we can kind of see why uh, robots love dab so much. So on the box, it features a sexy, almost naked cowgirl sitting on, on the robot's lap, dropping a big old glob into his nail. 
so um, pretty much there's there's the mystery of why robots love dabs solved All right, now let's talk about my favorite bot in the whole line, the Oil Crisis bot. This bot features the most detailed artwork and complex function of the whole line. You can see, looking at him, um, he's got three-dimensional eyes made of glass here. He also has fingers on his hands. None of the other bots do. And then if we look at the decals, we'll see again the oil crisis that he seems to be experiencing. If we look at his, his oil gauge here, He's almost empty, frothing at the mouth. He's hungry for some oil. And then if you look at the bottom, he seems to be leaking oil out all over his base. It says, robots need oil. If we look at the function of the piece, we have an inline perk here, which goes into a recycler. So you have some recycling action in the whole piece. And then if we look at the box, we'll see another scene of the oil crisis. You see, robots and rationing. You've got a big robot here that's feeding on the oil from all the cars that the humans have seemed to leave all over the place. You see a little guy falling out of his car. Don't really know what happened to the humans, but it seems to be good for the robots because robots need oil. Now let's talk about the last bot in the line, the Enlighten All Humans bot. This one's really cool too. He seems to be standing at attention. He's got little legs, his arms at his sides. He has uh, the name on the back, Enlighten All Humans. And he also has needles on his arms, which he uses to enlighten humans by injecting them with oil right into their heads. He's got two eyes. We've got an inline perk on the inside and then if we look at the box we'll see how he enlightens the humans so he's got big robot big needle and he seems to be injecting some humans with oil straight to their heads uh, you will understand you can see you've got some some angry people here and then the one he's injected with oil seems to be having a great time he's turned green he's loving it We've got artwork on the whole box enlighten all humans And last but not least, let's talk about the honey pot again. I know we already kind of covered it a little bit, but let's get up close and personal here. So we've got the little honey bear right there. We've got bees flying all the way around, honeycomb perk on the inside. And the way this is shaped means there's no splashback. It works really well every time. Not a baker bot, but it's really, really cool. Here's the box. You've got a, a bear you know, surrounded by bees, well, honeycombs all on the background. Enjoy the buzz, the honey pot. So 
There you have it folks, the whole Baker Bots line. Like I said before, these are super limited and as of now they've been discontinued. So what we have is all we're gonna get. At the Denver store, we have the whole line. We also have some at our uh, Colorado Springs store, Aurora store, and Pueblo store. Or feel free to check out mixedup.com. Get one, get the whole set. Be mindful, these bots do get lonely, so it's good to get multiple so they have someone to hang out with. So there you have it, Baker Bot, bug and dope.